Hey, what's up? I'm bad boy. Okay, something has gone wrong. This feels really weird. So my aunt defeated my father. But more importantly, she didn't let me keep the rings! I am sorry, Shang-Chi. Hopefully one day you will prove that you are worthy to hold them. But so far, all you've done is kill a man for revenge and survive some really cool surprise battles. Yeah! So, why isn't that enough? What, d do you need references? Uh, Katie would vouch for me. Where is Katie, anyway? Oh, she stayed back in Talo. Said something about... wanting to be with her people. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. So what's next? I guess I'm back to valeting cars now. That's a shame. A wealthy father gets to drive fancy cars all the time, can kick the crap out of anyone. Sounds like a pretty awesome life. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I do have it pretty good, don't I? Oh, I wasn't talking about you. I was just thinking about myself out loud. You know, because I have all those things. <laughs> because I'm... What the heck? Who drew this question mark in my coffee? Was it you? No, that was me. I just, I just wanted to interrupt your, your thing there. What have you done? Go, go, go! I'll kill you! Stop that kid from taking what's rightfully his! Hey, wait for me, also! Go, 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 go! What the heck was that? Peter Parker just sped by in some kind of getaway car. I know, but why? I'm not sure, but it doesn't surprise me. Let's just say he's been making a lot of poor decisions lately. What do you mean? Uh, have you seen this? That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Oh. Spider-Man! So, I sort of brought everyone who knows Peter Parker to this universe. And you need me to reverse time? I can do the reverse time thing if you want. No, that's not how time travel works. Oh, right. You guys invented that fun excuse. I just want to remind everyone that I might be bleeding out, so... I probably need to go to a hospital. Are you guys gonna order any food? I'm kinda hungry after all that rehabilitation. So this is what it's like sitting at the good guy table. I have to admit, it's kinda boring. Why are they here again? Because we cured them of their super abilities, and so they're nice now. But they're still criminals, right? I just killed his aunt. I don't know what is going on. So like, why can't you just wish everyone back to their homes and then do the Forget Mysterio spell? Because we have to reverse the crack in the multiverse. You mean Spider-Verse? Multiverse. You want me to take a swing at it? I'm totally magic now. No. So there's no undo spell? No. No spell to heal a cracked Spider-Verse? Multiverse. No, the only way is to make people forget who Peter is. But why does that fix the cracks? It just does. I can reverse time right now. Time travel isn't an option. Yes it is, I could do it. I can send you back to before Mysterio if you want. No you can't! It has to be magic. Okay, Strange. Sheesh. The longer we wait, the more we are interfering with everyone's timeline. You guys are way overthinking this. Just cast your Forget Peter Parker spell. But add a fairy tale ending option. Fairy tale? Yeah, you know, like when the princess kisses the frog and breaks the spell. Wait, so am I the princess? Yeah. You calling me a frog? <clears throat> Bad example. But at least that way, Peter gets to choose who will remember over time. By kissing them. Yeah. I'm okay with that. You'd probably have to kiss a lot of people, though. I know. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. I've got an idea. Why don't we just live here? Come on, shut up, Connors. Nobody cares what you think. I have a better idea. How about we all just live here? Yeah, I like the sound of that. We should do what Osborne says. Yes, I think that would make a lot of people happy. This feels more like home for some reason anyway. We can't stay here. I have to get back to my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter this, my daughter that. There's no time. Too many who know a Peter Parker have come through the cracks. This must be reversed. Wait, does that mean Gwen could be out here? Let's just stick to one adorable spider couple for now. Don't you dare send me back if Gwen is here. Oh no, not this again. Do not make me forget my boy. No, I shouldn't even be. He's part of the no way home. Don't you I want to something to the murderer myself? This is not how I wanted my first actual cafe scene to go. Uh. So, we did the kiss happy ending thing. And you guys are the last on my list. Wow. Nobody wanted to use my reverse time ability. Yeah. Okay, so, Batman, your turn. No, it's okay. I know you're Peter Parker and Spider-Man and all that stuff. What? 
How? Because I'm Batman. <laughs> also, you probably could have just kissed people on the hand or something because we never specified the where. Oh, great. Now you tell me. <laughs> Hilarious. So you just sit here and talk? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. Know your place, Kryptonian. I just don't get it. If Earth is the only planet that stood up to you, how did you and your army forget about it for thousands of years? I have conquered thousands of worlds. Then why didn't you ever come back to the one place that defeated you? Because... i dark side. Ugh, this is all wrong. This just feels like a really bad dream. No, come on. It's not that bad. Like I'm just gonna wake up and none of this will have ever happened. <laughs> Say no more. Bruce! Bruce! Over here! I'm not done yet! What?! It's been like two hours, dude! Shut up! You're not even supposed to be here! So I saved Gotham. Well, technically, we saved it. It took a lot of people working together to round up all those bombs and to catch all of Riddler's- No, I saved it. Me. Do you know why? Because I'm vengeance. So you haven't learned any lessons about becoming a symbol of hope. What? Why? I'm a symbol for awesome. I don't understand the question. That's too bad. I guess I can be the symbol of hope. I mean, I got hope written on my chest already, so that makes sense. So what's next? I don't know. Probably fight the Joker again or something. Oh, please don't. Why not? Because it's been done. No, it hasn't. It's been done to death. You wash your face. You know I'm right. Ugh. You're not even supposed to be here. You trapped her in that other universe? Well, yeah. I figured I had two moms, so I'll give her boys two moms. Plus, what mom wouldn't want a copy of herself every once in a while? I wish I had any mom. Yeah, me too. Why didn't you just find a world where her boys actually needed a mom? Because... A madman? Oh, sorry. Because I didn't think to look for one? Hmm. I guess you saved the day? Except that one of those Wandas is probably gonna go to jail. You know, for killing the Illuminati. Oh. Well then, I guess I did find a universe where the boys needed an extra mom. hey -o! Can I stop being a zombie now? Please do. You almost smell worse than Batman's coffee breath. Why you gotta say things like that, man? Oh, and there was also like a bunch of Guns N' Roses music. It's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, right? huzzah! I know what I would have wished for to disappear. You have no idea. So are the goats like always gonna be a thing now? Or, or, or what? <laughs> what, you don't like my goats? <laughs> you really don't hear that. Do you ever use a real door? What do you want to talk about? We gotta talk about your desire to just kill all who oppose you. Why? Because he's worried you're gonna squash him like a grape. <laughs> no. You know. Versus style. I don't think he can defeat me. You don't? Personally, I don't even know why you want a 1v1 this guy. I was even able to beat him. No. So how come there's no Batman v Black Shazam on the table? Because you aren't the strongest. It's Black Adam. Yeah, yeah, sure, Black Shazam, whatever you say. I had a spear ready to stab your face to Yeah, until I said our mom's name, which I won't mention right now. You two were brothers? No, our moms just had the same name. And this ended your feud with each other. Yeah, at the time it was a super important bonding moment. I'm not gonna lie, Black Shazam. It's Black Adam. It was probably the most powerful moment this world has ever seen. So, you don't want me to destroy you because you're afraid I will end this precious memory of you two having mothers. No, he's just scared to reboot, unlike me. I'm not scared of anything. Do you know why? I don't want you to destroy or end anything. Do you not destroy your enemies? Not by killing them. Uh, well, I mean, technically, you killed Zod practically the same way he killed Sabak. That was a really long time ago. And Wonder Woman chopped off Steppenwolf's head. That was... Technically, also a really long time ago. And Aquaman killed a bunch of people on a submarine. Uh-huh. And me, and my miniguns on the Batmobile. So, you're just like me. You're violent heroes. No, we are good. We were good. Are good. Whatever, I'm good. He's the one with issues. Stick with me, Black Shazam. I'm the worthy adversary. Stop calling me Black Shazam! Crap! Ha <laughs> yeah! I got you, sucker! Because I'm Batman! <laughs>
Dude, he is gonna be so pissed if he ever turns back. Yeah, I know. He's super dangerous. Quick, snap his neck. No! Come on, I know you want to. We can't keep being like that! And that's how we saved the Earth. Yeah! yeah. Wow. And to think you were almost the bad guys. Yeah, good thing we would never do anything evil. Yeah. Never. Is he gonna keep doing that? Sorry. It's kind of his thing. It is an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Batman, sir. I am just like Alfred. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, what's happening? Oh, no. Also, why did that mortal come with you? And how is he even breathing right now? Because I'm Batman. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry, I got him. <laughs> don't forget to smile for the camera. So it turns out being really strong and hard to kill is still no match for magic. You got someone else to take care of the problem for you? Yep. Respect. Work smarter, not harder. And did you expect me to fight him? I'm not the Black Panther, you know. Oh, we know. How? Because I'm gonna be the Black Panther. What? You ever been traveling so fast that your shorts fly off? What? No. Yeah, me, me neither. Hey, hey, do-overs! Are you ready for me yet? <laughs> Did he just call us do-overs? You heard me. Why do you sound like that? That's old news. Why do you sound like that? Because I'm bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not interested. Everybody, get hyped! Because this super plumber is about to unclog the pipes of competition and dominate! What has gotten into you? Get hyped! Okay! And you get hyped! Mm. Because finally, uh -huh. the first successful video game adaptation is here! Yeah! Wait. And it's a me, Super Mario uh, What? Well, I mean, Sonic was... Really successful. Yeah, and he's had two movies already. Did Sonic drop a viral ad featuring his old school rap theme? No. I remember Sonic's viral marketing strategy being more like, Oh no, just kidding everybody. This is what my face is really gonna look like. So? So I'm the first. How does that work? You look way worse in your first movie. That doesn't count. Unless you're trying to say that I've also got two movies, in which case, take that, Sonic! I wouldn't say you're the first success. There's been a few fantastic video game adaptations. The Last of Us. Oh man, The Last of Us is so good. And that new Mortal Kombat, that did pretty well. Yeah, very popular. Detective Pikachu. Does Tomb Raider count? I really like Tomb Raider. But we all know why you like Tomb Raider. <laughs> Angry Birds, <sighs> Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, I don't know. Resident Evil. Uh, I think you're drifting pretty far away from what people consider successful. They've made like seven of them. Silent Hill. Okay, you're done. Well, move them all over, because the king has arrived. There's a new MCU in town. I'm going to nostalgia so hard, everyone will give birth to their childhood. What is happening here? Easter eggs everywhere. They will be making everything you missed videos for years. So get hyped! Okay, we're hyped. Let's go! Yeah, let's go! And I'll be the first Super Mario Bros. Sure, Woo, yeah. I can't wait! And then you will call me a superhero. Yeah, oh. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> we are the same and you know it! So the ants and Luis and the talking blob translator ooze thing saved the day. Well, yeah. Basically, that's how it went. And what happened to that orb thingy? Oh, well, the ants, being a Class II civilization, decided we can't be trusted with such a powerful device, so... They took it. And that's good? Of course it is. I love ants. I, I don't ever get upset about anything they do. You know what I would have done? I'm gonna guess reboot. What's oh! The, you hush your... Actually, yeah, that actually checks out. Rebooting sounds exhausting. Oh, it is. But it always works out for him for some reason. Because I'm Batman! Anyways, so you're sure Kang is gone for good? Yeah! I mean, we all saw him get eaten. I'm sure that's the last we'll see of him. What's up, Kang? Not a lot, Kang. How you doing, Kang? Just Kangin' with the Kang. Kang right? <laughs> Where my Kangs at? Hey, Kang! Where the heck did all of these Kangs come from? I told you! How you been, Kang? You know what bugs me? When they kept taking their helmets off to talk to each other? Yes, but no. Is it recasty? Hey! <laughs> no. No, the mind reading guy. He has this incredible power to read your mind and then all he does is use it to find the combination for a bridge. That's it? Yeah, that bugs me. It's just weird. Oh, there are a lot of things in the quantum realm that are weird. Yeah, but not you. You look great, by the way. Thanks. I was starting to think you wouldn't remember me. Oh, I would never forget that. 
<laughs> oh, don't tell me you had a relationship with Batman too. I have needs, Hank. Ew. Ew. Oh, oh my god. So it turns out there's like another superpower person. Same lightning bolt costume, same powers, same magic words, same everything. Whoa. Which I thought was pretty cool, only to find out he was not interested in teaming up. Yeah. He was kind of mean, actually. Oh yeah, we've met. Oh, you guys knew about him? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked you didn't. Gah, nobody tells me anything. Dude, how come you never told me about this guy? Uh, can't hear you. I need to get a haircut. Ah, uh, this is all so frustrating. You don't know the half of it, kid. Oh, I got asked to join the Justice Society. I mean, it's not as cool as the official Justice League, but I, uh, it's all right. We're going to fight side by side and help each other on different missions, right? Yeah, or a massive time-altering event could happen and we could start in a new direction. What? Nothing. To a new beginning. To a new beginning. Oh, hey, you're back. I don't care about you. Well, that's rude. I only care about him. Now we're talking. You and me. Let's fight right now. Fight, 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 fight. Okay, I'll meet you outside in just a minute. <laughs> yes. I'm not really gonna do it. Boo. So we stopped the bad guy and nobody had to die. Not even me. Where's Gamora? Oh, she died. But I thought you just said... Oh, but there's actually another one? Uh, this is this whole other thing. Hey there. You want to know my heart pass? Okay, then. I am Groot. Not this again. I'm not going to let you win. I'm Batman. I am Groot. I'm Batman. I love you guys. I love you, too. Wait, he's been talking this whole time? Hooray! Well, I guess we did it. Our mom survives. We saved Earth from Zod. I don't go crazy with rage. <laughs> Batman gets to stay this Batman. Everyone wins, right? <laughs> Except Wonder Woman and Cyborg. And Kal-El. He died, remember? Oh, right. Well, I, 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 I'm I, sure nobody will miss him, right? Hey, oh, whoa! What? Who's that guy? Another Batman? You gotta turn it all back! But we just saved the world! You got rid of my boy! I have no bro! It's all a hot mess now! That's exactly what I told him would happen. Speaking of hot mess... Hey there. I'm Batman. You wanna know my... See? See? See, it's too weird! Listen to me. You gotta change it all back before we cross too far into multiverse territory. Whoa! Oh no! It's too late! Other universes are colliding in front of very specific superheroes! What is going on here? Is the world ending? I was fighting a spider and now I'm distracted. Holy holes in the sky, Batman! Indeed. And we are here as well! This is gonna wreck everything unless you let this all go. Why does everything look so blurry and low res? I'm sure it's all by design. Yeah, it's called Get This Out Before Spider-Verse. More like No Way Home. How'd that work out, by the way? We didn't make it. And why was that, Perry? I don't want to talk about it. Look, I can fix everything. I'll just go back and try again. You've had plenty of tries, Perry. It's over. We've reached the reset point. Reset point? We, we don't have to do that. Look, I'll just go back and change just a little bit so my dad doesn't go to jail. How's that? That's only gonna send you to the most despised universe. You gotta let this universe go, so that another one can be born. But I feel like I'm just getting started. You went straight to the multiverse in your first go? You don't even have a green lantern. Who? Also, let's just be real. This universe has had ten years. Oh, oh wow. Holy extended amounts of time! That's one more year than I got. Robin and I only got three years. No. It's true. At least you got more than one year. Yeah, some of us never even got a chance. And some of us got a chance, but got totally deleted. That... that sounds so sad. It is. But the truth is, most of the time heroes start out super hot, and then over time, start to fizzle out. Even Nolan over there peaked it too. Don't bring me into this! I refuse to acknowledge my existence in this multiverse bullcrap. Me too. Oh, so just because two Batman don't want to be here, I should just let my world die. It won't die, kid. People always look back on their heroes fondly. They do? Most of us, anyway. You have to do the right thing, Barry. You're collapsing all of these universes just because you won't let yours go. Okay, fine. I'll let the reset happen. I'll set it all back so the next universe can begin. Did it work? Are we are we starting over? Yes and no. Oh my gosh! Have we still learned nothing? <laughs>
So we made friends with my prowler self, convinced Miguel he's being dumb, and then we took out the spot right before he tried to kill my dad. Huzzah! I still say we should have waited. To be continued? Are you crazy? We just got back together. Yeah, I don't have that kind of patience. How did you guys actually take down the spot? That's not gonna work. Ah, are you kidding me? I promise it was cooler than it sounds. Anyway, so we saved the day. Yay, cool. Hooray for you. What's wrong with Batman? Oh, nothing. I'm sure he's super happy that you got to have an exciting multiverse adventure about saving a family member while meeting other versions of yourself and other alternate universe heroes. Aren't you, Batman? <sighs> hey, don't be like that. I bet when you guys get your multiverse, it will be one of the best. You want to hold my baby? <laughs> no. Well, that's just rude. She is a sweetheart, aren't you, Mayday? <laughs> He's not gonna smile at you because he's Batman. So, you're like a vigilante? Yeah. I feel you. No powers. Gotta make cool gadgets and stuff. Yeah. Me too. You ever like just sit on a rooftop, like a gargoyle or something, late at night, watching over a city in chaos? Only like every night, because I'm Batman. <laughs> That's straight up. We got a lot in common, man. Yeah. Maybe we can meet up sometime. Swap ideas. Okay. I mean, sure, whatever. Maybe you could be my sidekick. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. <laughs> what is it? What? Nothing. I, I didn't say anything. Ooh, Gwen now has a thing for the bad boy Miles Morales and the good boy Miles Morales. What? Oh, Ooh. here we go. No, I don't. Wendy's got a roam. What? Shut up. Oh, the drama. Which one will she choose? Sh shut up. The suspense is so potent. Nope, that was just me. So we saved the day. This is the coolest day I've ever had. Girl pal. I mean, we did chop a lady's arm off, which feels kind of violent. But I guess that's better than one of us getting pointlessly trapped in some unknown universe. I'd love to be trapped in your universe. You want to know my secret? Not a chance. Okay, can't blame a bat for trying. Well, way to go. I mean, before, Carol could take a punch from the Infinity Gauntlet all by herself, but it's good that you three learned how to communicate and become friends so that you could get that bracelet off that lady. No offense to the new girls, but it seems like the whole thing could have been solved if you'd just been like, Hey, uh, give me 30 minutes. Nobody used their powers. Yeah, come on, Carol. You didn't even need those other girls. Oh, she needs us. Yeah, without us, she's no fun. Exactly. Hey! Speaking of fun, what happened to you? You were all broody and dark during that secret invasion. The secret what? So what's next? I'm putting together a team. Do you really need more teams? You can never have too many teams. I don't know. Your universe is getting a little exhausting to keep up with. I mean, you've got timelines as well as the multiverse. And the quantum realm. And to top it all off, She-Hulk exposed that none of your universe is even real and that she can just make the writers change it all at any point. It's like, where is all this going? I'm sure wherever it's going will be fantastic for everyone. Eh? Where's the vision? I mean, like, where is the vision and all of this, but, like, also, where is vision? He disappeared, and nobody's talking about it. Well, I'm off to go fix a sun and restore Hollis so that they can maybe, possibly, help us someday in a secret war with a different but same Iron Man. What? what? Wait, you just killed them all? Yeah, he was out of control and endangering countless lives. And the people of Gotham were okay with that. Yeah, they were so upset about Joker putting his Joker poison in their deodorant and stuff that they just totally celebrated my actions. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, because if I ever have to be put in that unfortunate situation, it's nice to know that people understand sometimes taking out the bad guy is the only solution. No, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that gets a pass for that when it comes to you and me. What? Why is that? That's not cool. Did you just say you want to know why? Yeah, I want to know why. Oh, no. Because of Batman! Ugh, oh, how original. Why don't you go date someone that works for the newspaper? I wonder where you got that idea from. <laughs> what, Vicky's the photographer? It's totally different. You're not dating Jimmy Olsen. You know what I mean. What the heck was that? Cassandra Webb just cursed flat on the pavement from her high rise apartment. And then the Ghostbusters ran over her. And then Godzilla stomped on her afterwards. I see that, but why? I think it's a metaphor. Metaphor? Yeah. Like how she expected her solid foundation to hold her up, but instead, it dropped her flat on her face. 
That's what you see right now? Yeah, don't you? No, I wasn't paying attention. I just saw her fall. Well, let me tell you. Her story was, like, super lame. It couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> oh no! My partner! My completely unlikable partner! What will I tell my nephew whose name I can't even say? Quick! Let's use our CPR powers that she taught us. Should we do something? Oh no. There are no heroes allowed yet in this story. What? Yeah, it's kind of like six almost origin stories at once. Except boring. I'm a paramedic. I could take over, if you want. No, she taught us everything we need to know. We got this. Calling it boring seems harsh. Maybe it's just misunderstood. Maybe it was actually good in the right context. You're saying the woman who's like totally rude to everyone she comes in contact with is actually good? Yeah? You think the woman who talks about her mom dying during childbirth at a baby shower is good? Uh... Woman who talks to Ebenezer Scrooge like it can hear her through her television is good. I mean, maybe she's so bad she's good. In what universe is that ever appreciated? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullcrap. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Clark. The CPR is not working, but she was such a good teacher. What else can we do? There's a cafe. Let's go dance on the table in her honor. Yeah, that's totally normal. However, maybe it is good. Maybe there are one or two good things about this story. Really? What, what changed your mind? I'll, uh, I'll have to let you know in a few years. Woo! Work it! Woo! Yeah. Uh -huh. Woo! Hey, Woo! spider lady! Who wants to know my secret identity? Okay! That is the reason you wanted to wait before? It wasn't appropriate before. Woo! Yeah! Uh-huh! That's it, you're right. Everything about this is, is awful. I'm gonna make this so it never happened. Oh, come on, man. Crisis averted. What? Hey, new suit, huh? Yeah. Getting ready for your big day, I see. You know it. Got my new symbol, my new suit. But I'm not totally sold on these shoulders yet. What What do you think? You think they look too... Droopy? No. Pajama-like? No. AI generated? I was gonna say Guardians of the Galaxy, but thanks for the feedback. What's wrong with looking like Guardians? Nothing. I love the Guardians. I just want to make a good impression so people don't immediately jump on some hate wagon. Oh, people do love a hate wagon. Well, if you want to look perfect, I can give you a couple pointers. There you go. Put those pointers on. What? And call yourself Batman. You're not being helpful. <laughs> I'm trying to be both classic and appeal to the youths of today. The youths? The youths. So you don't think this suit looks skibbity? What did you just say? Skibbity. It's this new word I learned. Kids are saying it. I think it means bad, except when it also means good. I think. I don't really but know. But why are you saying skibbity? Because if I'm going to lead the path for our new cinematic future, kids have to think we're cool. Oh my gosh. Because I don't know if you know this or not, uh -huh. but we are old, Bruce. Okay, well if you're that concerned about ruining your image, I can confidently say the first thing you should do is never try to pull off saying skibbity ever again. No cap? I am this close to slapping you right now. Well, I have to do something, man. I can't even put on my shorts without it being a controversy. I put my shorts on. No, don't wear your shorts. I take my shorts off. Ah, oh, where's the classic Superman? There's no middle ground. What am I supposed to do? Wear the shorts halfway? <sighs> Look, you want to make a good first impression. All you got to do is just stand up tall, looking strong and confident, and that will get the people fired up. Oh. What? Well, I, I sort of did that, but instead I just kind of showed myself putting on my boots with this kind of somber look. Well, that sort of sounds like the opposite of what I just said. I was nervous about showing my shorts. You already did dark and gloomy for ten years. I know that. You need to be bright and awe-inspiring. I get it. You think I don't see how much is riding on this? I have to set the tone and be the peak hero everyone wants me to be so we can have a long run of great DC adventures. That's right. Or maybe just have one good adventure and then I'll bail so you guys can carry DC for a change. What? Nothing? Don't you do that. What? Don't do some ultimate sacrifice thing right at the start of all this and then leave me here by myself. Why not? If you do that, I will resurrect you so fast. How and why? Because I'm Batman is how and why is because we are not splitting up. Well, we'll see. And if all that fails and you make a total stinker, you can always just do it all over again years later as a violent R-rated comedy. It also helps to rope in an A-list celebrity for a future team-up. I hear Henry Cavill is available. Too soon, Deadpool. Oh, you're so right. It is probably too soon to call Henry Cavill A-list. Okay, now you're just trying to start fights. I'm just trying to help, boys. Now, onward, my greatest showman. <sighs> Marvel is always messing with us. They're just so... 
Skibbity. Okay, I'm gonna slap you now. That didn't hurt at all. Hey, cool suit! Reminds me of a jacket I used to wear. I knew it. There's not much food in the cafe. I think that's by choice. Otherwise, they'd have to animate us eating. Isn't that right, guys? What? I could eat. I'm just, I'm just not hungry. Now that's how you cross universes, boys. Oh, yeah. That is. So are there like two Wolverines walking around here now, or what? Yep. <laughs>